Hey there, ASFM. Today we're going to take a look at how you can use an existing Google Doc and create a Google Form and actually a quiz from that document. So the first thing you'll need to do is open up the document and it might look something like this, a quiz form that you might have handed out to students traditionally. And you're going to go to Add-ons. When you click Add-ons, you're going to go to Get Add-ons. And this add-on is called Doc to form. So you're just going to type in doc to form and search. And the first one that comes up looks like this. And this is the one that you're going to select. So I've already got it, but you're going to click on free and install and just accept the conditions when Google comes up with a prompt. Once you've got that added in, you'll go back to add-ons and you'll see that doc to form is here. We're going to select that and say create form from doc. Now, there are some options over here on the side that you can choose from. Um, you can collect the username, you can ask for the name and ask for the teacher. Today I'm just going to select the top two. Um, and then you see question one appears right here and it says use selected text. So I'm going to select question one and I'm going to click use selected text and it'll bring it right over for me. The next thing says to choose what type of question it is. So I want this to be multiple choice. I'm going to select that. And here it says that the options between them, you need to have them separated with a semicolon. So I'm going to do that over here beforehand. So I'm just going to add a semicolon after my first three choices. And then I'm going to highlight these. And then I'm going to copy them with Command C and paste them with Command V. All right, we can see that they head in there. I'm going to add another question. And again, highlight the question. I'm going to use the selected text. You'll see that comes right in. Um, for this type of question, I'm going to have this be choose from a list. Again, I'm going to separate them with semicolons. I'm going to copy them and paste them into the answers. Um, for today's purposes, I'm going to stop right there and I'm just going to click on create form. And it'll do a little work for us and then I'm going to click on view form. So this is it saved you the time of having to actually go through and create the different questions. Um, you can go through now and select click on one of these and you can have this be a required section so students can't skip over it um, and I'm going to do that all for all of them because I want to make sure that they answer all of the questions. Okay now this is a new piece that's also been added to forms. If you head up to the gear under settings, you can select here that where it says quizzes. And under quiz, I can make this a quiz. And so again, it'll provide you with different options that you can select. Um, you can take a look at those. And now when I click on one of the questions, like my first one, I'm going to click here. And now you'll notice at the bottom, it says answer key. So I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to choose the answer that is correct. You'll see that a little green checkbox comes up here and then I can even add the value of points that I want it to have. Um, so if you want to weight different things at different um, for different levels, you can. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Here's the answer key. And I'm going to choose the correct answer. See the check again, and I'm just going to add the points again. Okay, now <clears throat> we can view the quiz. Um, so if you click on the eye, you'll be able to see exactly what students are going to see. So you can see that all of the stars are here. They're required sections and you can see what a student is going to view. So I'm going to select a couple answers. I, they can have the information sent to them and submit. Now, I can see my score right away. This is an option that you can turn on or off so students can get immediate feedback and say that they've gotten one question correct and another one that's incorrect and that their total points is here. On the teacher end, you can also receive all of this information. So when you're back in your editing mode, you can head to where it says responses and click responses and you'll see here's a list of what has been submitted. You can also have these added in a Google Sheet. So if I head to this green button here, I click on this, I can have a new spreadsheet created for me and I'm going to go ahead and create that. It'll come right, right away. And so right now I can see a result of everything that is the people who have responded, which at this time is just me. Um, but as students submit, then you'll have all of your information in one spot. 
Hope you find this helpful. Good luck.